YouTube. It's your boy Shy Mai. About to get into some of that coding for the G12 again, the 750i. So today we're gonna change some of this um, instrument panel. We're gonna change it to the um, Alpina style. So right now we have the um, normal, as you can see, goes the dash say 160, kind of boring colors. Sports look like that. Comfort looks like that, and um, Eco looks like that. Adaptive is just black. So we're gonna go ahead and change some of that. So I already have the um, Beamer code open. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the um, instrument cluster. So we're gonna click the cluster. And inside the cluster, we'll find a bunch of different features once it loads up. I didn't explain how to get into um, the Beamer code because we've already covered that in the last video, but um, if you don't know how go ahead and watch my last video it'll show you how to actually connect to the dongle and um, get into the um, Beamer code app but we're already in here and we're in the instrument panel so the first thing I want to turn off in this case is the rear acoustic sound when I'm backing up basically so now on my display cluster I have no logo I'm gonna go ahead and program and there's plenty of them but um, I'm gonna put the M logo. So we're gonna back out it. Uh. So I had backed all the way out the app. I had to actually reload it back up. But um, if you do back out, let's say where I push search instead of back by accident because my finger's so fat, then you will have to restart the whole app. But um, all of this stuff is done in the regular mode. You don't have to actually go into expert mode for any of this stuff. But um, so we want the Alpina style display. We'll go ahead and select that and we also so right now I have an empty menu in my I'll show you what that is after we finish coding I want to actually remove that uh, then we have um, additional speed I'm gonna change that too um, I'm gonna put it at miles per hour because I'm in America but uh, you can put kilometers if you prefer and then we have the um, digital speed which is not being shown now in the dash but we're going to go ahead and turn that on as well and then you can also change the low fuel warning from 30 miles to whatever you prefer um, that's the second warning the first one is actually at 50 miles or 49 in my car normally but um yeah it's set to 50. so we're gonna go ahead and code that and we're gonna see what it looks like when we finish coding so it's going to change the dash again all of that will be different and like i said we'll add some of those features with the digital speedometer and the alpina style it'll change um the layout as well it's almost finished it writes the code pretty quick um sometimes getting into the menus take a little bit of time because reading so much of the um menu see it went off then again if you get an error once it restart that's normal see all those lights come on um, after I restart the computer, the um, car, it'll be fine. But you can see now it's purple um, or bluish purple as opposed to before. Coding was successful, so I know it was. But um, so now, and I got you know messages on. But like I said, afterwards those won't come on no more. Uh, so okay, let me just switch through a couple of the menus for you. Uh, so comfort. Um, is that color sports now is purple and as you can see it's got 200 on the dash um, it changed how much gas I got because I thought I had a little more but it'll adjust I've done this before it adjusts back up once especially once I'm riding but um also the eco mode looks a little different and um, adaptive is also now purple so that's some of the cool features but also you can see Underneath the zero, there's a now a new miles per hour. So once it starts moving, it'll the car moving, it'll basically um, change to the digital speedometer, and it'll also um, show it inside the cluster right there, next to the 200 and 180, the zero miles per hour will show it there, as well. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, remember to subscribe. Thank you.